students have gone through this program, and, and I can tell you right now, uh, I know the dedication and the time and money that you have spent over these years to get to this point right here. And this is a great honor, and we're very excited, and, and this is one of the uh, things that make my job so enjoyable. Uh, I want to thank uh, these athletes and the time and dedication that they put in, and our coaches as well, because I know how hard they work and the, the time that they spend. I promise you I'm not going to take long. I'm about done because I know Dr. Bob Corway used to say to talk to him longer than stand on one leg, so I'm not going to be able to talk. Uh, but I do appreciate all of you for being here. And we're so proud, not, not just for the fact, I just want to emphasize one thing, not just for the fact that these guys are great athletes, great baseball players, but they're great young men. They, uh, they've been uh, contributors to our community, and we know that one of these days when they come back, after they fulfill their dreams of playing college baseball and being a college student, when they get into adult life, they will be coming back here to give back to our community. We're very, very proud of them. And again, thank you all for being here. Coach Boucher. Ladies and gentlemen, the early signees of the Diploma Class of 2014.
for these families to send these kids off to go to college. They get to get to keep playing baseball, a game that they love, and at the same time, the classroom is so important. A college coach in these days really has a hard time taking a chance on somebody they can't trust. And they have to be able to trust them not only on the field, but in the classroom. The most important thing that these guys bring, number three, is they are teammates. They are people who have passed down tradition over the course of several years. Again, they don't do it by hollering at people, beating on their chest. We have a tryout coming up. We have over 80 or 90 kids that are going to try out for baseball for us in the spring. And I look out there the other day as we have an early time where kids can come out, get used to the surroundings, play a little catch, get ready for tryouts. And I've got my seniors out there hitting ground balls to new guys, playing catch with them, telling them where things are supposed to be, how we do things so that they can be comfortable, so that we can put together the best team that we can have. No one asks them to do that. They're doing that because they're seniors and they're leaders. The most uh, specific thing that I can say that tells me what kind of leadership these young men have, uh, we have a young man who had major surgery last Friday. It was a, a, a big, you know, for his family, it's a traumatic thing. Everything's great. It's going great. He's doing well. While he was coming out of surgery, and uh, you would think a young man who is uh, 15, 16 years old, he would be asking about when do I get to drive again, when do I get to eat hamburgers, when do I get to hang out with my friends. His biggest thing was, can I go to the signing to see my senior sign? Am I going to be able to go do that? That is what's most important to me. Would you like to know why? Because of these young men right here. That is a fantastic thing. And Truman, you made it. You made it. <laughs> Great part of my job right now. I uh, am going to introduce each one. Uh, NCAA <coughs> rules don't allow the head coach to be uh, at these signings. Uh, I don't know why that is, Doug, but you Maybe so. Anyway, uh, the uh, uh, proxy, I called each one of them. They were overjoyed to have us uh, have this time. So I'd like to introduce each one. As I introduce you, if you would, please stand with your family and then have a seat. First of all, I am now, as the proxy, getting to represent Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas, a new signee, NCAA letter to attend, Mr. Evan Wilson. Feel free to do it. 
of these people ask me questions. A lot of grants are good, but they can't take any money. <laughs> Sorry? Bubba. Bubba. Where is Lane? Come on, Lane. I don't know who Bubba is. <laughs> dismiss and go our ways. Uh, I'd like to pray each and every one of these out uh, so that they can go to college and have God on their side. So if you bow with me. Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for what you've done in each and every one of our lives, Lord. And I thank you for these young men, Lord, and uh, what, you're doing, what you're doing through their lives, Lord. And I just pray that they give you the glory through everything and that each thing they do, they come to you for help, Lord. That whatever they do, it's not for their own glory, it's for your glory, Lord. I pray this in your son's name.